appearing to go on the quad to go bang 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 but it's because of this disconnect meet victor thompson the man who makes the lucid tone clock tick Mr. Thompson, who is 56 years old, has been taking care of the Lucy Town Clock for the past 26 years, enabling it to maintain its distinction of being the only town clock in Jamaica which has been constantly telling the correct time for more than 200 years. Many people already know the story surrounding the Lucy Clock. That it is older than Great Britain's Big Ben, was made in 1817 and was destined initially for St. Lucia. It is said that the captain of the ship mistook Lucy, which was named St. Lucy at the time, for St. Lucia and took the clock to the town instead. The citizens fell in love with the timepiece and held on to it, and even though they had originally ordered a less statesque model, gave donations to make up the difference and the clock became theirs. A German landowner erected the clock tower on the condition that he designed it and so the top of the tower is shaped like the helmets worn by the Royal Guards of Germany at that time. It was on a warm sunny morning in February that Mr. Thompson provided an exclusive tour of the clock which sits atop the Hanover Municipal Corporation building. I'll give it to her. Yeah. So watch me carefully. Mm -hmm. See? My right foot here. My left foot here. Mm -hmm. My right foot. Mm -hmm. Put on the one of the tracks. Mm -hmm. Grab onto this one of the tracks. Mm -hmm. Then we follow the letter up. Yes. Go ahead. And then follow the track of the letter up. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going up. Going up again. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So when I go up and I stop here, I'm going to turn my body this way. Mm-hmm. Facing you. Yes. Then I'm going to put my right foot here. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to lift my body and put the other and the left foot over here. Okay. And then I grab onto this pole. Mm -hmm. And then we hand over here. Follow? Yes. So, you going to come? Yes. <laughs> Very few people have ventured there. Access to which means climbing up on a ladder set at 90 degrees and then crisscrossing over several beams to get into the very tiny space. and then get back in. I don't know where they walk. So you have to bypass the door. Yes. Come along now. This is a view from inside of the Lucy clock tower. And if you look over to my left, that's the Ministry of Labor and Social Security office. Lucy Harbour Way in the distance and the mountains, Dolphin Head over there. To my right, um, Willie Delisa Boulevard, the Lucy Police Station in blue and white, and the post office to the far right. 
So this is the front view of the club and um, these are the pulleys that govern the the um, iron ropes. You have three iron ropes here that controls the cylinders. These are iron cylinders as I was telling you about them. So the, this, this one down there that's iron cylinder control the quarter. As I was telling you. How far down is it? You, almost to the ground. Like about maybe 50 uh, feet? Maybe about um, 20 feet. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. And then this one control the timing for it to tick. So okay. right, right now it's fully wound up because when it wound up fully, then you're going to you put a lot of pressure into the clock, okay. allowing it to work like this. Right now the pendulum is moving. Mm -hmm. This is the pendulum shaft and this is the pendulum ball. Okay, that's doing the seconds, right? Right, yeah. Right. So okay. when the clock is a little bit too fast, this this oct oct um, octagon device. Yes. Octagon device. When you move it uh, um anti-clockwise, the clock goes slower. When you move it Clockwise, it make the clock go faster. Oh. oh, this one, this cylinder, control the striking for the hole. Right. And this is the whole entire mechanism of the clock. Okay. So it has to be oiled and so forth? Yes, can grease up, yeah. Okay, so, so how you... So we have three great Three great wheel. One, two, three. And each one of those great wheel control the cylinder. Now to, for you to show uh, for I to show you how this is because you have to go on the other side. Oh, okay. So we're going so to go on the other side. View, yeah. Okay. So we have All to go right. to the back of the class now. Now, this is the back view of the clock. And um, to set the clock, it starts from here. It has, it has two dials. This dial is to control the hour, and this dial is to control the minutes. To set the clock, it is about now 1 minute to 12. If you're going to set the clock, this is the setting key. This is a thick key like this. And you're going to turn this way. For you to set it clockwise, you'd have to go this way. Guys, this clock is already set this morning, so, so I would have to go this way. Now, that sound that you hear, it's ready to strike for the hour, because it's now 12 o'clock. So it's ready to chime in. But because this quarter rack that I told you about, see it? You notice how I did fix it earlier and the welder man sanded it down? Now this is getting bad. We call it a quarter fork. When, when, it is, when it is in good condition, this armor drop from T to T. Bang bang, bang bang, bang bang, bang bang, bang bang, I only drop to the last drop. Send the signal, the warning signal through these brackets, and then they start ch the chime. There are the bells. Those are those two bells are for the quarter. Those two bells over there. And then this big, big bell is for the hour. So the armor start to this work like this. Up, down, up, down, up, down, and you knock the bell. I will give you a, a sample of the bell so. Yeah. But because, but it, it, because that is bad, we have to disconnect it. Okay. So this is the setting key and um, from the back view of the clock you have the great wheel that control the cylinders. And these are the iron ropes. See the iron ropes here. Right, right now this is actually fully wound up. And this is fully wound up to control the time. 
but basically right now this is this is this is what control the timing right now so you can only get the time then i'm not going to get the striking right now until i sort out um that quarter rack or um okay. so this is how it's set up okay. um from i was about um 19 years old I, I, I developed a deep interest in clock making and repairing. And then I normally practice on my mommy watch. And sometimes I practice on one of my sister's watch. And I pull them up and trying to get them back together. Sometimes I am successful and sometimes I am not. But as I grow over the years, I still develop a deep interest in repairing clocks and watches. Uh, then I moved to Kingston a few years after that and I met a friend in Kingston and he lives in England and I told him about my interest in repairing watches and clocks. He said don't worry man when I get back to England I'm going to send some books for you. So when he get back he, he sent two books and those books, one of the books tell you all the tools in the world that you're supposed to use to work on watches and clocks. The other book, it tells you the whole network of a clock and a watch. And it tells you the name, of the, 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 the name of the parts of the watch and the clock. It tells you how to pull them up and how to assemble them back together. And um, then I left Kingston and come to South America to live. And I joined up with Mr. Lester Lack and he into the clock business for a number of years. And I developed further scale with him until he deceased. So when he deceased, I decided to go on my own. So when I started out on my own, I moved to Hanover to live. Then the gentleman who was in charge of this clock, he deceased. But I had a friend who know the secretary of the Paris Council and he referred me to the secretary of the Paris Council and told him that you know I have somebody who could fix this clock the secretary told my friend that okay he could come in and look at it and I came in about a few weeks after and looked at it and I said okay I will take the job then uh, um, thereafter I repaired it and put it back into operation about 26 years now and then the clock still going 26 years. So there here it is. Get to wind of the clock. This is a winding square. I put it around and you're going to wind the clock clockwise. You go go down that like <laughs> until it fully wound up to to the pulley, to where the that bump is. So you wind this way. Same is true for this one. When you're going to wind this one, you go anti-clockwise. And for the hour, the hour, this one, you're going to go this way. Until it's fully worn. So you have the, when it comes to the bump, come to that movie, it's fully worn. That's how it works. Okay. The clock was made in 1817 by Thwaites and Reed, a British clockmaking company which was established in 1740 but has antecedents from 1610. So these are made of what? Brass? What, what kind of um, material? These are these? Yes. Yeah, they? Yeah, they, these shiny. These are just normal soft metal. Okay. It's a little okay. dial. Right. But it's a minute counter dial. Okay. And the hour counter dial. Right. Yes. And, and that's the seconds. That's that is the seconds the, ticking. That is the lever shaft. This right. is called a this is called a, a pallet. Mm -hmm. The 
this is called a, a lever and this is called the pallet and this is called an escape wheel do you notice it drop from T to T? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's going to be under pressure. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, oh, the clock is under pressure. Yes. Whenever he retires, Mr. Thompson says he has been trying hard to get an apprentice to understudy him. However, this so far has not yielded a potential successor. The council asked me to get someone to train him to learn how to repair the clock. But there's a couple of persons who I interview and they're not interested. They say too hard because they would have to go back to basics. They would have to go to the school to pick up the basics for them to go get into the theory of the clock. So right now I don't really get anybody who are really interested. So I would have to continue until I get someone who really took up deep interest in learning how to repair it and how to set it. To get books in Jamaica that, that, that feature these clocks, mm -hmm. you're not going to get them. You'd have to go like in England right. and other uh, parts of the world where you can get books on them to pictorially illustrate the whole mechanism mm -hmm. and how to operate it. Okay. Because the books that I got, it, it show you the whole network of the clock. And um, it tell you the name of the parts, and it show you how to wind it up and how to set it. What's that? What just happened a while ago? It's it, it's, it's it's telling that it's it preparing for the quarter to come in. Oh, okay. But right now it is on the quarter, fifteen minutes. Oh, okay. It's preparing to go on the quarter to go. Bang bang, bang bang, bang bang, bang bang. But it's because this. Disconnect. The great bell for the hour. And, and those two is for the quarter. Bang bang, bang bang. So it have two hammer. One when you're going to knock you go. Bang bang, bang bang, bang bang. I have company up here, you have birds. Birds as um, birds. Uh, the, 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 that's, that's where some of them live. Feed off. Uh the, yeah. yeah. So this is one of the timing shafts that go west. So and this is west, this is south. This is south. Another timing shaft that goes south. And the final shaft. To the east. Final shaft goes to the timing shaft. Go to the east. When you were entering Lucy so the clock has uh, three sides so this one is to the south coming from Montego Bay and coming into Lucy this is the one you're going to be seeing all right just um, facing the Willie Louisa Boulevard and there's one to the east and another to the west we have a dial to the south one to the west another to the east and the other one has no dial all right so just three now let's grab our three clock faces. Descending the Lucy clock tower is just as tricky as going up. Yeah. 
type. I easily break. Just put one foot down first and circle it. Uh, you, you, you're doing it well, yeah. Doing it well. You're doing it well. Good. They're very encouraging. Yeah. You're doing it well. And there you go. Just how we, we are come off the uh, leather. You're doing it well. Yeah. You want to come down back where you want to come down from here to you. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs>